G'day guys, welcome back to the shop. Well today we're going to do a follow up when we made our wire clamp tool last week and I said we were going to turn a turnbuckle into a similar product. So today's the day. So last week when I made my wire clamping tool and I've had a fantastic response to that I wanted to make something that was simple for a person without all the tools, all the machines that I had. So today we're going to take a turnbuckle, a wing nut, standard bolt, a cap head machine screw and a washer and we're going to turn it into something similar to this. It will do the same job without all the tools. You'll only need a file, a hacksaw and a battery drill and a drill bit. Okay, let's start. So first of all, I'm going to strip this down and I'm going to clean up this has got some this has got some awful edges along it from where they've machined it or made it it's been cast so I want to tidy all that up so I'm going to take take these two out and then I'll file it up and then clean it up so we'll go off to the um, to the to the vice okay I'm just going to file it Get rid of most of these. I'm sure you can buy cleaner ones. This one is pretty ugly coming out of the mold. Of course, this is not necessary. I just like things to look nice. Go to the wire wheel now and give that a buff up. So now I've given it a good clean up. I'm going to drill out both ends. One end will take a long bolt, and then we'll slip in the smaller bolt back through backwards. So I'm going to get my battery drill and I'll drill these out just big enough to take the thread of these. Which should be around six mil. So this is a six mil drill. So that'll take that one nicely through there, and also that one. Either end, it doesn't matter. Once again, I'll flatten those off. They'll go in there. As always, the compressor starts up on us. So I'm just going to put a flat on the head so it'll pull in. So the I so the idea of that, we'll slip that through there. Like so. Then our washer will go on in a minute. We've just got to shape the washer. We'll be able to put our nut on, which will hold that all together. And then we'll put a slot in the end for our wire. And we will do that up. Okay, that's good and tight. Okay, so we've got our washer and our wing nut. So we'll put our bolt through. I'm just going to 
that's on a slight angle that hole so I just want to ream it a bit And we'll put our, yeah, put our key nut on. So now I'm just going to work on this end. I'm just going to give it a, a file around and file a slot in it, like I did on this one. So that's going to become that. This washer. We're going to cut some grooves in it, so that will become these two. And the wing nut is this pin here. Right, let's do that. So I want my slot and my face to be parallel with the wing nut. So I'm just going to file a bit of a flat on here. other side That's all we need, just a notch to sit the wire in. Now you do need to take all the sharp edges off so it doesn't cut the hose. Now I will take it over and give it a buff on my wire wheel, because that really smooths everything up. I'm going to go do that now. Otherwise that's it, we are finished. So I'll just go give this a buff up and then we'll give it a go. Okay, I jumped the gun a bit, so I've, I've given that a buff up. I've got to put two slots here. And I'm just going to eye them so, so that the wire will actually be guided. And it will make it, when we twist, turn it over to lock it, much easier. So I'm just going to run a hacksaw down there. Veeing it in a little bit, but I will file it smooth on the bottom. We want these to be smooth because it's going to, the wire is going to guide over those onto this. Okay guys, so I've given this a clean up. I've used a, the eye bolt that came out of the turnbuckle. But it just would have given me that a little, a little bit less pull on the wire if I needed it. I also wanted to be able to use a socket or a spanner to do it up. Right, let's go through the demonstration. This is the previous one I did with this tool. There's a great video on how I made this. It was a previous video, actually. Go and have a look at that. So now we will do one on this end with this tool. And we'll get exactly the same results. This might not look the same, but they're going to do exactly the same process. And it took me a hell of a lot less time to make this than it did this. Right, let's do a demo. Alright guys, so the wire we're going to use, I'll, I won't go in such great detail. Have a look at the previous video. So this is 1.2mm wire. This is just standard galve wire I get from my local hardware shop. Um, they had run out of stainless because I have used stainless in the past. The rule of thumb is 13 times diameter. But you'll, you'll quickly just 
start guessing it, I, I just guess, and it's always, I don't know, for this sort of size, four or five hundred mil long. So cut yourself a piece of wire off. Take your wire, bend it in half. Sometimes I get my long nose and I just hold it and just make a more of a square type bend on the end. Something that doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to take our wire, we're going to feed the two ends through the loop and pull it up. And then we're going to go around and feed them through again. Now, you can feed them through double, but I'm just going to do them singly each one. Now, we're going to go, we want them to follow themselves around. So this, this is in, in between the other two loops. And we're going to go through and we're going to keep them in the right order. So that's in between the other two. And then we're going to take the other end around and feed it through the loop. Like I said, keep them, keep them in order. So now we will get our tool. Make sure your wing nut, your pulling wing nut, is down at the end of your bolt or thread. Stick the end of it under the loop. Under the loop. You don't actually have to go onto the loop at this stage. So it's going to go under the loop. Put your wire through into your V and go around, I go a couple of times around your wing nut. And the other side goes in the V and a couple of times around the wing nut. You can go over the wing nut, under the wing nut, doesn't matter. It's only going to, then I go across the top and do it up a couple of times. Now we're going to pull it and sit it onto the end. Okay, so at this stage I'm going to take a a socket. I'm going to tighten. I can actually tighten it a little by hand first. And I'm just. You could also take a spanner uh, and do it up. So I'm going to put a bit of tension on it. I'll be seeing them pull up. So once I get a little bit of tension, I'm just going to make sure my wires are how I want them to look. Tidy them up. You don't have to do this, it just makes it look nicer at the end. I'm going to keep them together. Now I'll tighten it up. Now I'm watching my wires, see it's pulling up here, so it's pulling that wing nut up and it's stretching our wires. Now you can, the wires will start pulling into the hose, this is airline hose. I can just about see that, I can feel it biting in there, it's just about flush with the hose, that's pretty good. Now at that stage I'm just going to take my tool and bend it over, bend it over. Alright, so I've bent it over and then I'm going to get my side cutters and cut my wires. At this stage just cut them anywhere because we're going to shorten them up. I've got rid of the tool and we're going to cut them off like that and then I take my, my long nose pliers and I just bend them over and into the gap between and give it a squeeze on the top bend this one over give it a squeeze and that's our joint now it's You can see I should have squeezed that up a bit closer together. But we've got a beautiful, strong, it's pulled into the hose all the way around. Really nice joint. So here we have my two tools. The one I've made previously with my lathe and milling machine, a lot of work. And we have this quick and easy one out of a few basic hardware items. They do exactly the same job. This one, this is the 
previous tool did this one. It just shows you how much better they are than hose clamps. They pull in tight. These are on my airlines. And this is the lovely one we've just done on this tool. No different. Give either one a go. It'll be a tool you'll really, really like using. I love them. So I've got two now. This one, I've got a friend coming around tomorrow. I'm going to give this to him. Um, I've got a, a one I've had for years that I made previously. I'll just chuck this in my toolbox as well. Uh, and I'll make a few more of these up to give away. Alright guys, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'll see you on the next one.